All right, check this out. So Trump vows insurance for everybody in Obamacare replacement plan. Uh, I mean, that's that's so fucking cool. That's exactly 100% what we want is, I mean, and the thing is, is that Trump back a while ago, uh, he was more for like single payer. Even though he says that he's not, I think he only says that to Republicans to get them to fucking chill out. Because the truth is, I think he wants universal health care. He's always praised Canada's health care system and Scotland's health care system, which are both single payer, single payer universal health care. And I think that that's, that's what he wants. I mean, look at the stuff he says right here. Like, look at this. I love this line. Uh, talking about the pharmaceutical companies, all right? They're politically protected, but not anymore. I was like, oh! That's fucking bad, dude. That's that's bad as fuck, man. You know, like when when Trump does something good, you know, I want to come out and say it. And that's, you know, so, I mean, this shit should be put out into the news more that, you know, he's trying to do something like this. But they just want to, you know, attack him on all, all the bullshit and everything. And I just I really think it's fucked up. And I really I just want to say that to all um, my progressives and Bernie supporters, if you're planning to go to uh washington to protest his inauguration i just have one question why what are you going to gain from that he's going to be pre he is our president he will be the next president Do so if you protest when you um want something you don't go and protest because you hate something you know that's what's the okay yeah cool you hate it you know protesting to say listen we're trying to get something you know, we want our voices heard. You want your voices heard that we hate Trump. You know, that's what you want. Just to go out there and just talk shit to him. Why? I mean, he's go <laughs> he won. And if you want something from him, if you want your president to do something for him, you can have protests and everything. But on his inauguration, what's the po what's the point of that? I just I, I don't understand it. And I think if you're a true progressive, you won't go there and and protest Trump. I mean, he won. His, you know, his fight against fucking that stupid fucking bitch Hillary Clinton. All right. Thank God. So, I mean, give him, I mean, you got to give him his chance. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, I, everyone knows I'm a hardcore progressive. I'm a Bernie supporter. But I think that we need to give Trump his chance. He, you know, he stopped the, the Republicans from shutting down the ethics committee committee. You know, he's um, he won't replace Obamacare with anything less than so everybody's covered. So some form of a universal health care. Guarantee it, man. That's what's what he's talked about for years. So, I mean, he so far, he's only done a couple of good things. Yeah, he's filled his cabinet cabinet with the fucking stupidest people on the planet. Uh, but we got to give him his ch chance to fail. You know, I think that's I think we at least owe him that. I mean, whether or not I mean, OK, the Democrats cheated Bernie and the Rep Republicans tried to cheat Trump, but he fucking fought his way through it and won the primary and then had to battle fucking Clinton and he beat her. So it's like we got, you know, we got to give him his chance. I'm, I mean, I just I don't think that I just I really feel bad for a lot of the shit that's happening to him. And uh, not that I support any of his racist rhetoric or anything like that. But I'm just saying that, you know, there's there's a time when you have to be like, all right, you know, you can be cool, you know, and that's what we're supposed to be as progressives. You know, we're supposed to ha have that mentality and be able to step back and say, OK, you know, this is this is what we need, well, whatever, what, what we have to do, you know, and work it out using intelligence. We don't have to go there and scream and start fights and, and a bunch of bullshit and fucking I mean, that's just that's just ignorant. And, you know, one of the things that really bothers me is um, he's not having he can't get anyone to go and play his inauguration. No, um, no entertainers will go there and play his inauguration. Why not? You know, he, the only thing he got was a Bruce Springsteen cover band. And then Bruce Springsteen himself asked the cover band not to play. And of course, since they're, you know, they cover Bruce Springsteen songs, they were like, we love you, the boss, you know, all right. And they turned, so they canceled out too. It's just like, you know why not go there and play go and play his his inauguration you're playing for the president and you got a microphone if you want to say something say something you can say you know president trump this is what we want from you the people want this whatever you know take that opportunity but don't just not play i mean i think i mean i think it's fucked up that's all i'm saying you know i mean we we got to give him his shot you know it's like give him his chance to fail you know and until then i just you know 
I just think it's fucked up, man. And I think if you're a true progressive, you know, you should, you, sh- you know what's right. You know what the right thing to do is, you know, and the right thing to do is, 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 is support Trump because he's our president now and show him some, and show him some respect because he made it. He won. I don't, I don't see any other way around it. You don't have to like the guy, but he's our president. And that's just, that's just how it is, you know? And if you want something from him, I say we play to his fucking vanity, you know, he's a megalomaniac. So tell him, we say, Trump, we love you. You're the best. You're the best ever. If we could get, you know, college tuition taken care of, oh God, you would go down in history. He'd be like, do it. It's gone. Get rid of it. That's, you know, he, he would love it. It would be, you know, that's what he wants is the praise and admiration of people. I think if we just give it to him, he'd give us anything we wanted. That's just my advice. That's all I'm saying. And another thing before I go, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that Facebook is still like fucking with with Donald Trump. And I know they did with Bernie Sanders. I know they fucking went out of their way on like a certain uh, election days or whatever on voting days. They completely shut down all his sites and stuff. And they're like, it was a virus. Yeah, whatever. You know, they were like working in hand in hand with Clinton. Everyone knows that now. Uh, but I think he's still doing it. And Facebook is still doing it to Trump. And I'll show you guys why. Check this out. I was um, adding a video from the the Trump Ar- army skit. I was um, taking the two skits that I did and putting them together uh, for a friend or whatever. Um, anyway, I was loading it up on Facebook because that's where he wanted to share it was on Facebook. So I'm loading up on there and I'm putting in the um, tags for it. And see, I've already put this in Donald Trump for president, police, United States presidential inauguration, riot, bikers, protests, whatever. I'm just putting in tags, right? Then I go to put in uh, this tag, Bikers for Trump, which is what the main video is about, you know, Bikers for Trump. Nothing. I'm trying to hit enter. Look, I'm, it won't let me post Bikers for Trump as a tag. But let's see here. If I want to post something else, if I want to say Bikers for, let's say, Christ, okay? So what the fuck was that? I mean, just you couldn't even put it in as a tag. I'm just saying, I'm you know, it's just it's just fucked up, man. And uh, you know, he, he it's like he always has he has everyone against him as well. He should with his crazy fucking insane rantings and rhetoric. But I mean, you know, there's got to come to a point where I mean, like it's just getting fucking ridiculous now. And I, you know, it's just it's just it just really sucks, man. And uh. And I gotta say, I, I, I really feel bad for him because you could just see all the shit that's just coming from every different, you know, he, you know, he's got his own people's own party, like that Project uh, Veritas or whatever, the own people from his Republican Party are going around paying or trying to pay liberals to go and start violent riots during his inauguration. And it's like, they're doing that to try to make the liberals or the left look fucking crazy. But the left, the liberals knew what they were doing and actually filmed them trying to do it and busted them out with it. And I'm just saying, you know, but forget all that trying to bust the left and the right. They're tr- fucking up their own fucking president's inauguration just to make the left look crazy. I mean, like, fucking, it's like he's just catching it from every angle, man. It just fucking sucks, dude. Oh, well, man. Good luck, Trump. <laughs> UFO proof, out.